Over the past few seasons, Marquette has had Escanaba's number when it comes to the rivalry in boys basketball. The Redmen had won four straight over the Eskimos, heading into tonight's Great Northern Conference matchup. So let's go to Marquette, where both teams were looking for that always critical conference W. In the first, Marquette put on the full court press and it works. Andy Nyquist would come up with the ball, drive, he would hit the shot, and he's fouled. Free throw no good, but the Redmen led 5-0. Still in the first, Nyquist would try a long three-point shot. It's a tad short, but A.J. Grazulis is there for the defensive or the offensive footboard and the put back. Marquette led 7-0. The Eskimos trying to keep things close would hit a much-needed shot here. David Fallish gets the ball to Jamie Hilton in and knocks down the triple. Escanaba still trailed by four and Tracy Hudson liked the early effort from his group. Escanaba would break the press here. It's a three on one the other way. Ben Kleiman quickly to Sam Molnar for the hoop. But after that, Marquette took over and I mean they took over. Brad Brow was hot early from beyond the arc and he nails the three to put Marquette up 14-5. Brow had four threes in the first half. He finished with 12 points. Marquette went on a 22-0 run at one point in the second quarter. As the Redmen win, running away 66-45 over the Eskimos, Mark Papp led Marquette with 20 points. Just a few other boys games were on the docket this evening. Kingsford outlasted Menominee 61-56. Caleb Harrington led the Flivers with 25 points. In another highly contested game, Gladstone holds off visiting mid-pen 68-61. For the first time this season, the Ishpeming boys basketball team played a game and the Hematites lost a heartbreaker by 156-55 at Manistique. Connor Selling hit a shot at the buzzer, and I mean at the buzzer, to propel the Emeralds to a one-point win. Zach Lambert had 21 for Manistique. Derek DeCare scored 22 for the Hematites. To the girls hoop scoreboards, Alicia Jermu led the Gremlins with 19 as Houghton takes care of Escanaba 45-29. Gladstone also winners wins big over Big Bay to knock 78-29. The Gawney improves to 4-1 on the year, including 3-0 in mid-pen play as the Miners escaped Iron Mountain with a two-point win, 51-49. Calumet over Lakeland and Hubble, 57-40. In Hancock, Berga wins on the road, 56-37. And in another close ball game, the Panthers win by three at Jeffers. North Central wins at North Dickinson, 65-57. Bailey Wells had 26 for the Jets. Marina Jacobson had 20 for ND in the loss. Forest Park runs away from Florence, Wisconsin. Lexi Gussert, surprise, surprise. She had 30 tonight, 18 of those in the first quarter. Carney Nato got by Munising, 47-25. And Bark River Harris puts up 75 in a victory over Stevenson. Let's hit the ice. Escanaba was at home tonight hosting the Nagani Miners. No score in the first. The Eskimos on the attack. Multiple whacks at the puck eventually pays off as TJ Myrick scores from on the doorstep and Escanaba led 1-0. Still in the first, the Eskimos deep again in Nagani territory. Ben Lasecki in the right wing gets a shot on goal. Tyler Ryuta makes a couple of dandy saves. The Miners try to clear the puck, but they don't and they pay for it as Nick Vandermissen shoots in scores from the point to give the Eskimos a 2-0 lead. Escanaba spent most of the game in the Nagani end of the ice. Jake Easton's shot would just be deflected wide. Escanaba would win the game 9-0 after just two periods. Easton finished with a hat trick and an assist for four points. Levi Underwood chipped in with two goals and an assist as well for the Eskimos.